Hi guys, my name is Mama Hazim Bezakaria and I want to ask you guys something. Have you ever heard of the KL Eco Forest? Surely some of you must have, must have heard of it. It's also known as the Bukit Nenas Forest Reserve. It's because during the Kelang War, Raja Asal used to plant the Nenas plant at the hillside of the, their territory. It is to prevent the enemies from coming to their territory because at that time people go to war without their shoes. So KL Eco Forest is a famous ecotourism destination in Kuala Lumpur. So this forest reserve is located near the city skylines icon which is the Kuala Lumpur Tower and it is situated actually besides the Kuala Lumpur Tower and it is approximately 11 hectare in area but hey enough talk about the forest let us actually talk about what is interesting inside the forest which is the Malay camphor tree the Malay camphor the wood was eventually produced from the old Malay couple barrels which suggests the chalk of barrels so, Baros was the name of a historical port situated close to modern Sibolga city on the western coast of Sumatra Island. In earlier worldwide trade, camphor was well regarded all through Arabia in pre-Islamic times since it is pointed out within the Quran and by the 13th century, it is absolutely was utilized in recipes all around the Muslim world. If you look up to the tree, you can see the beautiful view of what we call the crown shyness. Like the crown of the king and the shyness because they do not touch each other. If you see it from the top of the hill, you will see it take the form of a broccoli. This is not a man-made phenomenon, but it is actually a natural scientific reaction between the leaves of the trees that produce eternal gas, preventing the other leaves from touching each other. Interesting facts, right? But wait, there's more. Do you know that this tree is properly known as the tree that does not sleep? It is called the tree that does not sleep because it is a sacred herb used in healing insomnia, asthma, whooping cough, and pulmonary congestion. This camphor tree has also been an important natural remedy, especially in the traditional Chinese medicines and Ayurveda, for more than 4,000 years in the treatment of various illnesses. Essential oil can also be extracted from the camphor and be used as perfumes elements. In addition, this tree could be mixed and put on skin to eliminate acne along with its dark scars through the skin. Such an interesting tree, right? Oh, and one more thing before I forgot. This, in ancient times, this tree is also used as a flavoring wood, as a perfume agent and incense resin. So it is uh, it's a fact that this tree has many other things stated, but this is the only thing that I can tell you in these short times. So, until later, see you guys. Ciao!